Hi everybody, I'm Coach McCurry from Baseball by the Honor. When we come back, I have a tip for base runners to help get them some quicker jumps. See you soon. All right, folks, welcome back. Well, as I said, today's tip is for base runners or any, any coaches out there who are working with their base runners. Now, this is somewhat connected to a video that I made a long time ago, uh, and it's something called like the, the myth of the crossover step. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna link that video uh, to the very end of this one so that you can take a look at that as well. Now, today's, uh, today's tip is something that is called a positive shin angle. Now, I didn't just make that up, okay? That is a real thing. So, here's what it's gonna look like. So, and I have this stool here just so I can keep my balance as you'll see in a second. Now, positive shin angle is basically uh, something you see when sprinters in the Olympics are setting up in the sprinters blocks. And what you'll find is their lead leg, their knee is ahead of their foot. And so their shin has an angle like this. And that's called a positive shin angle because the shin or the knee is directed to where I'm going to be running. Uh, if I'm a sprinter, then a 100 yard dash or so, then of course I have a positive shin angle towards the finish line, okay? So as a base runner, we need to do the exact same thing. And for some runners, they do not do this very quickly, which prevents them, sometimes even fast runners, from getting good jumps because it takes them so long to give themselves a positive shin angle. So I'll show you a couple of the mistakes that some runners will make. If I am in my runner stance, I take my lead and I'm ready to go. If my first step is with this leg and I go forward, you can see after my first step, I do not have a positive shin angle. The shin angle is actually back. And so I am not gonna get a very good jump stepping in that manner, okay? Another uh, option here, which is, goes along with that other uh, video I mentioned before about the myth of the crossover. If a runner crosses over, so I'll move this way, if a runner crosses over and land, they still have not created a positive shin angle, okay? Which is not gonna give them a very good jump. So when you watch base stealers, typically they will do one of two things, and it's all an attempt to get that shin in a positive angle that they can launch just like a sprinter would out of the gates in an Olympic race, okay? So one option is to open that front foot up, okay? So my first movement is to open the foot and lean, okay? Now you can see this creates a positive shin angle, more like a sprinter, and then I can launch out of this position on my way to second base. So if it's gonna look more like in real time, a little faster, is I open this foot and I lean forward, which creates that positive shin angle, which I can then launch out of that position. So that's option number one. But what a lot of, a lot of runners do is they will actually take a false step. Now this sounds, sounds like it would be wrong, counterintuitive, like if I wanna sprint that way, why would I wanna take this leg this way? Okay, that doesn't make a lot of sense. However, what a lot of sprinting coaches will tell base runners when they actually work with baseball players is the quicker you can get this front leg in a positive shin angle, the faster you're going to be. It doesn't sound like it would make sense, but it actually is true. So a lot of base runners will take their lead and their first, I'll use the stool here so I can hold my balance, their first step is to take this leg back, okay? So the first step isn't a crossover, it isn't a step forward, we're trying to get that positive shin angle, and so my first step is here, okay? So I can create that real positive shin angle, and then like a sprinter, then launch out of that position. So if you talk to a track coach, and that is something I recommend all baseball players do. If you're in high school or college, there's going to be a track coach there who teaches this to their sprinters. And so make the time, go talk to your track coach and have them analyze your running ability. I guarantee they will talk to you about creating that positive shin angle so you can get the most out of your first couple steps. All right, so videotape yourself, 
Take a look at some base runners and I think you'll find the good ones, the fastest ones within that first step have created a very positive shin angle, which is going to greatly enhance their ability to be very fast on their jumps to second base. All right, folks, so give it a try. This is Coach McCreary signing off. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. And until next time, best of luck on your baseball journey.